Child Support in Costa Rica. Hello, this is attorney Arcelio Hernandez. I like to make these videos while I'm on my way to my office. Um, be very careful, of course, about traffic. But this is a very often asked question. How does alimony and child support, how do these things work in Costa Rica? Okay. So first of all, both father and mother have an obligation towards their children. And that obligation is to feed them. And to feed them means, in modern terms, more than just food. It includes education, it includes health issues, it includes even entertainment. Of course, a place to live, uh, clothing, everything you can imagine that a child needs that's what I'm referring to. In the modern sense of uh, uh, what we call alimentos, which is food, uh, we, the modern concept is more than just the food, okay? So what happens is the person who has the physical custody of the child has standing to ask a court, which we have specialized courts for child support. They're called Juzgado de Pensiones. <laughs> Um, they can ask the court to set an amount as a monthly child support payment which the, the non-custodial parent would have to pay and here you have to be careful we have debtors prison for child support matters if you don't pay your child support then the, the parent who has the custody can request the court to issue an arrest order and you can be arrested for up to six months, six months at a time, or until you pay what you owe. So it's a very serious matter here in Costa Rica. We don't have debtors prisons, prison for anything but for child support and alimony payments. So it's important to, to, to have this in mind that both parents have this obligation. So if you receive notification of a lawsuit against you for child support you will be given a few days to answer you have three days to appeal the amount sometimes they give you a provisional amount which uh, you might say I haven't been hurt I haven't been I, I haven't been given the chance to be heard first before they give me this amount I can't pay it or whatever so you have three days to appeal but you still need to pay the provisional amount that the court sets. If you don't pay, again, there could be an arrest order issued against you. So these things are different from most countries in the world. People are surprised when they hear this a lot of times because we have uh, detention in jail for people who don't pay. In fact, we have about 300 men on average a month that are detained, that are in prison because of non-payment of child support or alimony. When I say alimony, I mean because you can also have a pension or a, a payment that you have to do for a spouse, for example, or uh, a child who has become an adult. If they study and they get if, if they get good notes and if they have a reasonable uh, number of uh, courses that they're taking, they could still receive this uh, pension, they could be beneficiaries for as long as it takes them to get the degree with the maximum age of 25. So up to up until the age of 25, you could be liable for paying this uh, support. So this, all this could change in October 2024. Um, there's a, a, a new family process code that was approved in Congress, but it's coming into effect has been delayed two times already. Each time it's been delayed for two years. So it's scheduled to come into effect now on the 1st of October 2024. When that code comes into effect, there will be some significant changes in everything that has to do with uh, child support and alimony rules. The, pr 
process itself, the the changes in the age where a person is exempted from arrest from payment. Right now it's 71. If you're over 71, you cannot be arrested. It's going to be lowered to 65, which is the age that we consider adulto mayor, which is like an elderly person. There are changes in that you could ask the court to give you a, a special way of serving this detention, which is only at night, so that you could work during the day. Um, and then the first time will be up to, for up to six months. The first time will be up for up to two months. The second time up to four months. And the third time up to, up to six months. So there are some changes that are coming. In fact, I'll be giving, I'll be giving a, a webinar on this next month. Um, and it's a free webinar. If you have my book, which is the third edition of this code that's coming into effect, you send me the receipt. It's a free of charge webinar, so you could be up to date with everything that has to do with the changes that are coming. They're going to come into effect regarding uh, child support and alimony processes. So, what else could be important here to mention? I, I want to make this a short video, just so you get a, a, an idea of what the how this works in Costa Rica. So. You don't have to be living apart to file for alimony. We have some, they're not very many, but there are a few cases that we have where a couple lives together and for example, the woman decides that she wants a monthly payment. This, uh, well, what I've seen is like mainly, mainly like elderly couples. They're living together, but the woman is upset because she doesn't get a monthly amount of money from her husband they, they live together still they, they live together and she files for alimony for herself so this is possible in costa rica this is possible you don't have to be living apart I'm not sure how it works in other countries um, and then there we have something called uh, subsidiary responsibility which is when for example the father is not um, alive or he's in prison for with a very long term sentence if for some reason the pet, the father for example uh, cannot pay this alimony then you have uh, as, a, as a subsidiary responsibility you could sue uh, that father's parents in other words the grandparents of the child anyway I'll leave it a little bit at this for now just to mention a few particulars about our laws here in Costa Rica I think they're different from many other places uh, but there you have it you have a taste of what this is like here in Costa Rica you sometimes people are surprised you know foreigners come here they get into a relationship with a woman for example uh, a man comes from, from the States or from uh, Canada or Germany whatever, and then they, they have a, a conflict with the lady and then they find out how these things uh, operate and they're surprised because they've, they've never had to deal with this. But it's good that you have this in mind. If you have uh, more specific questions or if you're going through a process like this and I think you should get good uh, legal advice. You, know, you need to have good counsel because these things can affect you for a very long time. So this is Arcelio Hernandez, I'm an attorney in San Jose, Costa Rica, and thank you very much for listening to me.